Hey everybody, it's Miss Gretchen. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through another week. I hope y'all are enjoying your week, having some fun, getting out and enjoying the nice weather. Are you ready to get started? Let's start off with the calendar. Remember we changed the month. What month are we in now? Mm, May, good job. Get ready to count, a lot of counting. Here we go. And six. If today's number six, what was yesterday's number? Five. If today's number six, what will tomorrow's number be? And then when we meet again, what number will that be? Eight. Good job. And it's a Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. That is a Wednesday. If today's day is Wednesday, what will tomorrow's day be? Thursday. Good job. So we have a special day coming up. That's also when we're going to Zoom. So we'll talk about that when we Zoom on Friday. Something's happening on Sunday. We'll talk about that on Friday. That was our last day of school and another special day. So that's our May. Okay. You ready to get started with some activities? Let's get started with some writing activities. Got to work those fingers, the fine motor skills there. So don't forget, keep practicing writing your name twice a day because practice makes better. And then I have two worksheets, two I Spy the Alphabet pages for you. You could do both or just pick one. We'll start with this one and it's an alphabet search. These kids are having fun on the jungle gym at the playground. So you are going to look for the letter A to start off. Did you find it? Ooh, I found it. So what I'm going to do is once I find it, I'm going to color it. Okay. Or you can circle it. That is fine. All right. You see it? Next letter in the alphabet is B. Did you find it? I found mine. Let's see. I'm going to color it. This color. Okay, so keep going through the alphabet, each letter on this page. If you want something to work your brain, this one has a lot of letters on it. So it tells me down here that there are three letter A's. So let me get out my pencil and I'm gonna look. Oh, there's one. Found it. Oh, let me see. Oh, I found another one. Oh, so I'm going to color them in. And then oh, I found one more. So I did find three. Goodness. Looks like there could be more. All right. And then I'm going to mark off that letter A because I found three letter A's. All right. What letter comes next? B. It says there are four B's. So here I go. Oh, I found one. All right, I'm going to color it in a different color. Keep coloring. Oh, there's another one. Oh, got so excited. My crayon broke. Okay, so I did two. So once I find the other two to make four letter B's, then I'm going to cross it off. And then I'm going to move on to letter C. So, 
There's a lot of letters on there. I bet you will find them all because I know you have a big brain. So happy hunting. All right, I thought we could play another game with our alphabet. So you can do the, remember how you, the little sheets of paper and wrote on uh, the ABCs on them, or you can print them out um, and cut them out. That's what I did. And you're gonna post them on a wall. And you can play this game two ways. The first way you can play is to practice the ABCs. So I grabbed a ball. You can grab a stuffed animal, a ball, um, anything you want. And we're gonna start off with the letter A. So where's the letter A? I'm gonna toss it, touch the letter A. Or you can have your stuffed animal give the letter A a kiss. All right, after A comes the letter B. <gasps> There's the letter B. And then C, oh my goodness, I can't find it. Where is it? Do you see it? There it is. Oh, and then comes the letter D right in the middle there. Okay, so you can go through the alphabet like that, or you could, the second way to play it would be to spell your name. So the first letter in my name is G. Oh my goodness, where is it? Oh, there it is. And then the next letter is an R. Very good. And then continue through your name, okay? Oh, I wonder if you can help your little brothers or your little sister spell their names too. And I just thought of another way. You could, instead of maybe tossing a ball at it or using your stuffed animal, you can always just use your hand. Ready? A, B, C. You can just push them. So have fun finding your ABCs. Do you remember we talked about April showers and they bring May flowers? Well, I thought we should probably do another a flower activity for May flowers. And you know, also this day, the special day is Mother's Day. So, and all moms love flowers. So I thought we would do a painting activity, an art project that has to do with flowers and I'm going to do it two different ways. So the first one is I am going to make one single flower and I took a spoon and some yellow, the back of it, and some yellow paint and I'm going to make a, kind of make a center of the flower. So it almost looks like a little circle in a way, okay? Then I'm gonna take a fork and some pink paint and I'm gonna make some petals all around that yellow center. Once you get them all done in the circle, then you can make the stem and I'm just gonna use a paintbrush for this and I'm gonna paint it green okay and then you always want to put some leaves on your flowers that connect to the stem and voila I have a single flower so that is my single flower. Now, if you would like to make a whole garden of flowers, then you can take and um, different colors. So I'm gonna take the pink fork again, and I'm just gonna start placing them kinda in a row all the way across my paper, okay? Then I'm gonna take I have blue also, so I have a fork with some blue, and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. The 
but just kind of hanging out there in space. <laughs> and you know what? I think I'm going to add some more little yellow dots. Just a few. Okay, so they're just hanging in there. Now, I'm gonna go back to my green, and I'm gonna make each one of these a flower. So I'm gonna make a stem. Start it at the fork print and take it all the way down to the bottom of the page. Kind of make it like a little squiggly line. And then same for the little yellow dots as well that I made. I'm gonna continue those down, okay? So I've done about half of them, okay? And then I can always put in some little, some little leaves on the stems, okay? Kind of hard to paint on the side, on the, in the air like that. So here is a garden of flowers as well. So you can do a single or a whole garden of flowers. Perfect for Mother's Day. I thought we'd read a book today, kind of to honor moms for Mother's Day on Sunday. And this book is called, I Don't Want to Go to Bed. It's by Julie Skies and Tim Warrens. They are the authors and the illustrators. So, I don't want to go to bed. Little Tiger did not like going to bed. Every night when Mommy Tiger said, bedtime, Little Tiger would say, but I don't want to go to bed. Little Tiger wouldn't let Mommy Tiger clean his face and paws, and he wouldn't listen to his bedtime story. One night, Mommy Tiger lost her temper when Little Tiger said, I don't want to go to bed. Mommy Tiger roared, well, all right then. You can stay up all night. Little Tiger couldn't believe his ears, couldn't believe his good luck. He scampered off into the jungle before Mommy Tiger could change her mind. Little Tiger went to visit his best friend, Little Lion. When he arrived, Little Lion was having his ears washed. It's bedtime, growled Daddy Lion. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger. And he skipped off into the jungle before Daddy Lion could wash his ears too. Tiger decided to visit his second best friend, Little Hippo. He found him splashing in the river, having a bed bedtime bath. It's bedtime, bellowed Daddy Hippo. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, Little Tiger said. And he scurried off into the jungle before Daddy Hippo could give him a bath too. Little Elephant was Little Tiger's third best friend. He went to visit him next. Little Elephant was not out playing. He was in bed listening to his bedtime story. It's bedtime, trumpeted Mommy Elephant. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger, and he bounced off into the jungle before Mommy Elephant could put him to bed too. Little Tiger thought he would go and find Little Monkey, his fourth best friend. But he found Mommy Monkey first. She put a finger to her lips and whispered, Shh, Little Monkey is fast asleep. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed. Little Tiger whispered back quickly. He tiptoed into the jungle before Mommy Monkey made him fall asleep, too. Little Tiger didn't know where to go next. It 
was the first time he'd been in the jungle uh, so late by himself. Even the sun had gone to bed. Suddenly, it seemed very dark. <gasps> what was that? Little Tiger looked up and saw two very large yellow eyes staring back at him. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. It, those eyes belong to a bush baby. Shouldn't you be in bed, she asked. I don't want to go to bed, little tiger said bravely. You haven't. That's because I go to bed when the sun rises, said the bush baby. Little tiger couldn't imagine going to bed in the sunshine. He shivered and thought how cold and dark it was to sleep. It was in the jungle at night. I'm going to take you home, said Bush Baby. Your mommy will be worried about you. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger. But he didn't want to be left alone in the dark either. So Little Tiger followed Bush Baby through the jungle. He was glad of her big bright eyes showing him the way back home. We're almost there, said Bush Baby, as Little Tiger's steps became slower and slower. I don't want to go to, oh, said Little Tiger sleepily, dragging his paws. Oh, there you are, said Mommy Tiger, just in time for bed. I don't want to, <sighs> and he yawned Little Tiger, and he fell fast asleep. Mommy Tiger tucked him in and turned to Bush Baby. But then the den was empty. Bush Baby had disappeared into the jungle before Mommy Tiger could tuck her in too. So I have a question. Are there nights that you don't want to go to bed sometimes? And if so, which friend would you want to go visit with? Hmm. The last activity I have for you today is a little puzzle. It's a name puzzle. I debated I was going to send this out last week with the letter Z in zoo, but then I thought, well, let's just wait this week and we'll do it with our name. So here's one that's already as is. This is the way it comes out. My name is really long, and so it has to be on this one. The one I have for you, well, I actually have four different puzzles, and you can... Um, Pick which one you want to do or do all four of them, but you'll get it cut out and then cut on the lines and then you're going to assemble your name. So I have a bunch of pieces right here and the first letter in my name is a G. So I'm going to set that right there. The second letter in my name is an R. Ah, I can't find my R. There it is. Ooh, do you see what type of animal I'm making so far? Can you see that? It's hard, I haven't looked it up yet. Um, the next letter is an E. Ooh. And then a T. So here's what I'm making so far. My name, ah, Let's see if I can get this pulled up for you. Okay, so I'm making an elephant and then there's a second half of the picture here. And I'll finish making that. Then um, you could actually glue it onto a piece of paper if you wanted or just save it and you can make it over and over again, but I don't know if I'm going to lift this up without it falling, but there is my name 
with a zoo picture on it. So enjoy your puzzles. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your activities. I put a few extras on the parents instruction sheet. So hope you enjoy those as well. And that's it. I'll see you in two days at our Zoom session and keep making good choices. I miss you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.